In the shadow of the Maryland State House, hundreds gathered to pay tribute Friday to the five employees killed in a mass shooting at a local Annapolis newspaper before marching to the waterfront of the quaint portside state capitol for a candlelight vigil. Earlier in the day, local residents left flowers outside the Capitol Gazette's offices. The people who worked here are our friends, our neighbors, our colleagues. So it's, it's sort of like a part of us has been taken um, with their death as well. The gunman identified as 38-year-old Jared Ramos. On Thursday, he entered the Capitol Gazette offices and opened fire. Four journalists and a sales assistant were killed, two others injured. Ramos had a long-running grudge against the paper, repeatedly directing abusive tweets at staff members. He's now charged with five counts of first-degree murder and is being held without bail. Authorities describe him as uncooperative with the investigation. U.S. President Donald Trump, known for his adversarial relationship with the media, offered rare words of support to journalists in the United States. This attack shocked the conscience of our nation and filled our hearts with grief. Journalists, like all Americans, should be free from the fear of being violently attacked while doing their job. Despite their shock and grief, the paper's surviving employees published a Friday morning edition with in-depth coverage of the shooting and obituaries for each of the five victims.